The disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. Sinners don't have grace or Jesus. Do you guys want to get saved today? Do you want to take over here? I was sir? just taking a short, yeah. short brother. Thanks. Good morning. How's it going? Good, how are you? I just wanted to read the signs. That was all. I are couldn't you, read from that far back because I'm too old. Are you I, born again? Yes, I am. He that is born of God does not commit sin. You agree? Well, I always sin, but I try not to. Well, sir, that's what the Apostle John wrote. Ah. Do you want to go by it today? You could. Do you I can get. Go by which? The Apostle John. You get free from all sin, get saved. Oh, I am. Well, sir, you're not according to what John said because you said you sin all the time. Well, you know we do. No, we don't have to. Well, in that case, we try not to. Well, if you try something that's impossible, that's insanity. You're right. Well then, sir, why don't you come out from among them, be you separate, saith the Lord, 2 Corinthians 6, touch not the unclean thing, you'll get received today, you get saved. Excellent. Why don't you get saved, sir? I am. Thank sir, you, so you just pled to his sanity. It doesn't work like that. It's okay. It's, it's okay. not, sir. I do appreciate it, though. And, uh, we care about you enough to tell you, sir. <laughs> I so appreciate that. You got to get saved today, man. You don't know how much longer you got. That is so true. You never know. Sir, it's your day. It's your day, sir. Okay. Take a picture of these signs. You need to read these verses because they're going to tell you no one's perfect. The Bible says otherwise. In Jesus, we follow him. He's God Almighty. If you follow him, you won't stumble. That's what he taught. Excellent. Gospel of John. Excellent. It's easy. His yoke is easy. That's right. And it's very easy. That's correct. That's right. But the way of the sinner is hard. It says in Proverbs, the way of the transgressor is hard. That's a sin. Bondage. I appreciate you guys being up here and letting people know. Come on, sir. It's not too late for you. I know. Isn't that cool? But you say you're already saved. I but you got to be saved from your sins. Yes, I am. Thank you. But you say you're still doing them. No, oh, I said I'm pretty sure I do. Well, if you're saved from hell, do you go to hell? Nope. So if you're saved from sin, why do you keep sinning? The imperfect person. I know, but he perfects those by his blood. Yes, but you're imperfect, you said. Just a That's not the grace of God that brings salvation. Because by one offering, he has perfected forever all those that are sanctified. That's what it says in Hebrews 10, 14. It's available. Jesus said, be you therefore perfect as your Father in heaven. I am so agree with you that those scriptures are 100% true. But why don't you follow them? See, the word does good to those that walk uprightly. Jesus Christ says, if you walk in the light, if you walk in the day, you shall not stumble. It's written in Proverbs, you can run without stumbling. Don't stumble in and out of sin in a sinner church. Come out from among them. Jesus Christ is God. Greetings, sir. The Bible teaches sinners don't have grace. Do you believe it? Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. It says in prophet Isaiah, repent. Turn away from all transgressions. That's Ezekiel. Let the wicked man forsake his way and the ungodly man his thoughts. Let him return unto the Lord and he shall abundantly pardon the prophet Isaiah. 
You can buy without money today, dear sir. You can be saved. Near repent of all sin. The Bible says, He that is born of God does not commit sin. Do you believe it? Yep. You free from all sin? Yep. You think this whole church is free from all sin? Oh, sure. Yeah, I do. So this whole church is full of saints, living holy, walking perfect before Jesus Christ? Yes. Now, the one guy that came out here earlier, he said he was imperfect, and he sinned all the time. I don't know who he was, if he was a pastor or elder, I don't know. Oh, yeah. He came out here and said it to us, and we had a nice conversation. I talked to him about it. He says he's sin. But people here are not all people of any church are perfect. Well, and they're not, you know what I'm saying? Like all Christians are not good people. Well, that doesn't mean they're Christian then. There you go. Because a good tree only produces right. good fruit. So then that's the problem, ma'am, is because in these churches they're sinners and it corrupts the not whole thing. Not everybody, but, but we got to walk. See, like I'm. I've always had God in my life, but I'm being pruned and plucked. Like, I, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to get better to walk with God. Right, but in the scriptures, it says, let your heart be perfect with the Lord. And we should be perfect. Abba, ma'am. If, if the Bible says that by one offering, he has perfected forever, that's the blood of Jesus. Yeah. That's a perfect offering, and it makes you that way because you follow him. He's a good shepherd. If I follow Jesus, I won't stumble into sin. You know what it says? No, I'm not going to be hypocritical. Sure. Or anything, yeah. But in the Bible it says, too, we shall not judge. Only God can judge. Well, Jesus said to judge a righteous judgment in John 7, 24. Yeah, it says in Proverbs, open your mouth, judge righteously. Yeah. Plead the cause of the poor and needy. So you got covetous people. They're taking the food from the poor. So now it says in the Bible, open your mouth, judge righteously. Yeah, but these Right, but other countries too. Right, but then what if you're also living in covetousness? You're double minded. So there's a lot more poor people than just the one country. You see what I mean? Because if you live in the love of money, you can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and Mammon. So if you're serving Jesus, yeah, you know, I'm not saying you know you have some of this, some of this. I mean you get through life. But you know how people live in these churches. They live rich, they have big houses, nice you know what I mean. Fancy cars and stuff. It's hypocrisy. So that's why we come out here to try to help. That I just wish and I, and I tell God, I talk to God personally. Not like I'm talking to you. Well, I do. I talk to him, but I don't get him answered back. But you know, maybe the Holy Spirit will reveal something one day for me. But like, I ask God, you know, like, there shouldn't be all these churches that's correct you know not baptist not mormon that's not right this, not that. we should all serve one god as one well i agree with you there and that's why we do what we do because not all the churches are going to be saying you know they're not going to be spreading out the same thing right the bible teaches that god doesn't hear sinners see that's why you got to repent first because then that make god jesus christ even partial that he's going to hear some people and not others. That's why you got to repent first. That's why Jesus said, repent and believe the gospel. Bring forth fruits worthy of repentance. John the Baptist. Well, that's something to consider, ma'am. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, it's God's words. God didn't make life to be hard. But he does want us to realize what he's trying to show us how to live to be Yeah. you got to be worthy of the kingdom. Yeah. And if you're not worthy of the kingdom, you will not enter the kingdom. Yeah. And, and it's a lot deeper than what people really realize. It's actually, right. his word, words, is deeper than what people think, you know? Like, it's hard to describe it. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, and it's true, you know? Yeah. You want some Bible tracks? Sure.
Yeah, because I mean, I think you're right about the church thing because there's all these churches. If you want to hand it to her sister, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, really consider that, man. I want to start preaching for these people if you don't mind. All right, but you can get a hold of me sometime if you need to. All right, yeah, have a nice day now. Jesus Christ saith. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. Do you believe it? John 5, 14. This is what the Son of God taught. The Son of God taught you must be worthy of the kingdom. You must be born again as well. That's correct. It is written in 1 John, He that is born of God does not commit sin. Uh, his seed remaineth in him. He cannot sin because he's born of God. Everyone here confessing Christ and confessing that you are a sinner. You're double-minded. You're lost. You're on your way to the lake of fire. We tell you because we care about you. In Jesus' name, repent. Bring forth fruits worthy of repentance. Jesus taught in Revelation 3 to the church of Sardis, I do not find your works perfect before God. That's what Jesus Christ is looking for, perfect works. Sinners need to get washed by the blood today, need to walk in the light. If we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. You be cleansed of all sin. Having these promises, dearly beloved, Cleanse yourself of all unrighteousness, all filthiness of flesh and spirit. Perfect you holiness in the fear of God. Perfect holiness. You can have perfect holiness before God. Do you believe it? Are you saved from all sin? The book of Proverbs teaches if you want mercy, you got to confess and forsake your sin. Confessing ain't enough. You got to forsake the sins. Are you saved? Yeah. What are you saved from? There is no sinners that are saved. If you were saved, you'd be a saint. You'd be holy. It is written, be you therefore holy, for I am holy. For such is the will of God, even your sanctification that you should abstain from fornication. If you're in the sin of fornication, you're unsaved, you're outside of the will of God. And there's many such like sins as fornication. Jesus Christ taught, a whosoever putteth away his wife and marries another committeth adultery. Do you believe it? Jesus Christ taught if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It'd be better for you to go into life with one hand than two hands into hell fire. That's where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. These are things Jesus taught on the Sermon on the Mount.
The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and a good understanding to all they that do His commandments. You must keep the commandments. Jesus taught, if you enter into life, keep the commandments. He that saith they know Him and keep not His commandments is a liar and the truth is not in Him. 1 John 2, 4. If you eat and drink unworthingly, you eat and drink damnation upon your own soul, you must be worthy of the kingdom for which you suffer. If you're in bondage to sin, you're a slave to sin. I hear that committed sin is the servant to sin. But Jesus Christ came to free you and redeem his people of all iniquity. The Bible teaches he that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. The purpose and cause of the Son of God was made manifest that He might destroy the works of the devil. The Father of Jesus Christ sent Jesus Christ to bless you in turning you away from your iniquities. If Jesus Christ doesn't know you if you're a sinner. You want the hard sayings of the Bible? Or do you want the ear to be itched? The Spirit of God speaks expressly that in the latter times, at the end, some shall depart from the faith. You celebrate pagan holidays. You're of the world. Your God is your belly. You're mixing glory and shame. You mind earthly things. It is written in Philippians 3.15, as many as that are perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything, any of you be in another mind, God shall reveal it unto him. The Holy Ghost reproves the world of sin. Why? Jesus Christ said, because they don't believe on me. Sin is unbelief. Because Jesus said, sin no more. Jesus Christ died for the sins you're committing. Why will you not repent? He that is dead is freed from sin. The Apostle Paul warned men in all perfection. Colossians chapter 1. Paul taught knowing the terror of the Lord we persuade men. We're trying to persuade you. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. You're not going to get anywhere in life without starting by the fear of God. And that repentance. It is written in John 9, 31. We know that God heareth not sinners. There's no sinner's prayer. It's just a prayer that's not heard. The Lord is far from the wicked. 
Buddy here at the prayer of the righteous. That's in the Bible. A faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. You got to do truth. You need to come to the light. And your deeds will be made manifest unto you that they are wrought in God. It is the work of the Father Jesus Christ that your past sins would be forgiven. That's the mercy of God. The perfect shall remain in the land when Jesus Christ sets up His kingdom. You need a heart perfect to the Lord. That's the high priest we have who is holy, harmless. He is, of course, not defiled. A separate from sinners. That's the book of Hebrews, chapter 7. How many believe it? Jesus Christ is holy. And in that, He's separate from sinners. Jesus Christ taught His sheep, hear Him. They follow Him. He knoweth them. Jesus Christ taught, if any man hear my word and doeth not, you're building on sand. The wind's going to knock your house down. If you don't hear these words, you're not of God. Be not deceived. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The Apostle John taught, He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Jesus Christ taught, make the tree good and its fruit good. But if you want to make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, that's your choice. You'll be condemned into hell. That's free will. God Almighty puts before me preaching today. He puts before me life and death, a blessing and a cursing. I must choose life. Are you saved? You're not? Are you saved? Of course. Jesus told me to. It's in John 7. You want to read it? John 7, 24. You can read it. I'll do it with you right now. You're not reasoning with everybody. I'm preaching. Would you like to talk? No, sir. Well, my friend. Jesus Christ preached. Jesus said, come, let's reason. Well, I'm trying to do that with you. You want to open the... Why are you standing against the church over here? Well, the church has got sinners in it. Oh. Jesus Christ did this. You know that, right? Who's pointing back? You're pointing at yourself. That's only one. When you point one finger at three, you're pointing back at you. I understand, but who's pointing at me? You're just a winner. No, I'm not. I'm speaking the oracles of God to you. Thank you. I care about you, man. Let us all reason together, my friend. I know, but you asked if I was judging. I told you I was, That's and I gave you a Bible verse for it. And I told you where the authority comes from, Jesus Christ. Okay. So, maybe I'm doing a good work. Maybe you should have peace with yourself, too. I do. There's no peace to the wicked, saith my God. Okay. Well, I just wanted to hear what you had to say. Hey, man, I care about you. I, I care about you, too. Okay. So, what's your message? My message? Yeah. Why are you standing on the outside looking at me? Sir, this is how Jesus preached.
You know, the apostles and Jesus, they would preach at synagogues, temples. I'm sorry? This is a good answer. Oh, too quick? Yes. Well, I'm hearing what you're saying. But you're not reasoning. Well, sure I am. I'm answering what you said. I'm rebuttaling. Peace, brother. I'm answering what you said. Peace, brother. Hey. Did you get all that on video? I'm sorry? Did you get all that on video? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know if I can hear you. Did you ask my permission for video? I'm on public property. Okay. You know what I mean? I, 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 I'm not, sir. I care about you too much for that. John 7, 24. You gotta look it up? I'm asking you if you're going to. Well, because that's a reasonable way of looking into it. Well, I'd like to hear the others then. Now show me the others. You know, fishing men, you gotta put the line in, and if you get a bite, you gotta yank it out, right? So I'll see if you're gonna get saved today. I'm sorry? We constantly have to throw it back in. We're not catching much. You know what Jesus said, when he returns, shall I even find faith? Remember Noah? Oh, yeah. Eight people. Huh? Eight, only eight people got on the ark. That's not a lot, my friend. Well, you're going to be one? Well, sure. Okay. If I endure to the end. Well, well, so you're going to say, I'm not going to be one if you're going to be one. Are you holy? Am I holy? Absolutely. Are you free from all sin? Absolutely. So you're not a sinner? Oh, I agree with you there. Why would I sin? I agree. I don't sin against man. I was just curious. I had a actually for a tow garage sale. And I saw you standing there with the protest. I wanted to see why. Okay. Um, and, and why you're doing it here. I was just curious. So you think this is the right... i God, my friend. Okay, so do you think that it's the right thing to do to judge the false church? Why, how can you say it's false? Because they got sinners. That, hey, sir, sir, that's against your own doctrine. Jesus Christ taught in John 7, 24, judge a righteous judgment. Be in the fear of God. You judge for the Lord. Have a good day, man. It was nice talking to you. Be thou in the fear of God. Judge a righteous judgment. Jesus Christ, Tom, follow me and I'll make you to become a fisher of men. It says in Jude, keep yourselves in the love of God. This is compassion. But as well, we pull sinners out of the fire. That's love. This is how we know that we know Him, if we keep His commandments. He that saith they know Him and sins is lying. Jesus Christ is the Good Shepherd. Is it 10.30? 10.25. Jesus Christ is a Good Shepherd. He gave His life for His sheep. Jesus Christ also died for His enemies so that His enemies would turn from their sin, their enmity with God. All those that are a friend of the world are God's enemies. All those in the sin of adultery are the enemies of God. 
It was Jesus Christ himself from heaven. He rebuked the churches. Now who am I but a slave of Christ? A servant of Jesus. And all that are perfect shall be as their master. Jesus Christ sent out other men telling other men to repent. We tell you because we care. It's not if you repent, you shall all likewise perish. It is written in 1 Peter 4, if the righteous are scarcely saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? I was asked, are you judging? A couple times, I think. Of course. A spiritual man judges all things. So is the mind of Christ. Jesus Christ came so you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. A he that sinneth wrongeth his own soul. All those that hate Jesus love death. How do you know you hate Jesus by sinning? Because how do we know that we love him by not sinning? Get washed by the blood, get freed up, have faith. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his hope, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made him. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous.